Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your September 1st to the 7th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, danehartaro.com. It's listed in the description box below, as is how to book a reading if you just want to go through PayPal. And there is a special offer being well offered now if you want to check that out. All right. So let's dive into this reading. Let's clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by the loud sound of the singing bowl. And this energy, okay, when when the singing bowl is singing, the way the singing bowl sings, any variance in its song really shows me a lot of the energy that we're stepping into. So pay attention to the song and, and see what it evokes in you, how it makes you feel, because that's very important. Okay, so now let's take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Leo. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Okay. So we have the four of cups reversed. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels. We have the seven of wands. The Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Five of Wands reversed, the Empress, no, the Emperor reverse, interesting, the World reversed, the Page of Wands, the Sun card, which is absolutely spectacular, and the Four of Swords reversed. Okay, let me just make sure all the cards are in frame. Perfect. Okay, so what's really interesting here is that we're crowned with the Four of Cups reversed. And there's a sense here of wanting to look at things a very certain way, but also being very frustrated with how the energy is moving forward. It's kind of like, well, I know I wanted this, but it isn't the way that I wanted. And maybe it can just be perfect if, maybe it can just be perfect if. And this is going to be a time where we get really frustrated. We need to walk away. But what we're going to do is double down. It's like we're doubling down. No, this is going to be right. No, this is going to work. And spirit's like, no, step away and I'll guide you. But if we play the stubborn game, spirit's more than happy to let us have that energy and just run with it. So do be mindful about that. There, there is a real sense here of standing up for what we want because we have been in tyrant situations that have held us back, that have made us feel small, that have made us really kind of rethink what we want, where we're headed, how we see ourselves as prosperous or successful, or where it is that we want to be towards the bigger theme of things. Now we do come through as the page of wands and the page of wands, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it amplifies the emperor, which represents Aries energy as well. Time frame March 21st to April 19th. There is the sense here that we can be having a bit of difficulty with Aries energy. If it's in our chart, if it's in our lives, that energy can just be frustrating. Okay. Also like very tyrannical, like I want what I want when I want it. And that coupled with our fire energy of, you know, blazing bright and determined and focused, it can really make us overly stubborn. And that's why spirit is saying, you know, if we, we go for what we want, instead of stepping back and saying, okay, you know what, I'm running again, like up against a wall. I'm not going to keep on running up against this wall. I'm going to step back. I'm going to calm down and I'm going to start listening to spirit. That's going to be really important. And it's also just giving ourselves a bit of a break and saying, I'm listening to my intuition. I'm listening to what I really want 
instead of what I think I should be wanting. Because we expect a lot from ourselves during this time. We're burning the candle at both ends. We're not honoring our story. We're like, no, it should be like this. And spirit's like, okay, you want to be stubborn. It's like the little kid trying to tie their shoes. I'll help you when you ask for help. But until then, go ahead, knock yourself out. Keep on trying to tie those shoes. That's very much the energy that spirit's giving here, which can be really, really, really annoying. Our world is not about everybody else. It's about ourselves. This week is very us focused, very intricate, very insular. And that's going to be really important. We need that during this time, Leo. We also have the sun. Now the sun is twofold for us. It is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. Success, prosperity. It's like, yes, I got this. We're also ruled by the sun. So the sun's energy comes forward and it's like, okay, this is how I need to shine. Now we can also very much have an inclination of like, I need to shine during this time. I need to be seen. I need to be, you know, forward and people need to understand this. But it, what spirit is saying also during this time is like, nobody needs to understand this, but you let yourself shine, let yourself be happy. If people get it, awesome. If people don't get it, also awesome, good for them. You know, let's move forward in our power and in our prowess. All right, so our chakra energy, not chakra energy, our spirit energy during this time is, oh, and if you would like to enter to receive a free reading, there are three things that you have to do. You have to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment with a butterfly because some people don't want to be in the running to receive a free reading, and I definitely want to respect that. So once you've liked, commented with a butterfly, and subscribed, you'll be in the running to receive a free reading, which will be announced on Sunday. So hit the bell notification and keep your eyes open for that. It moves us then to our energy here from spirit, which is dependability. You know, that showing up, that dependable, you know, I'm here, spirit, that means a lot to us. Not the flashy, not the, you know, oh, look at this, look at that type of energy that once really called to us. It's that dependability and it's that quiet dependability that's going to mean everything during this time. So just being aware of it. It's kind of an energy that we would have once called boring or like thought it was lame or something to that effect, like rolled our eyes at. Now we're going to be like, oh, that's really good, dependable, powerful energy. And I'm tapping into it. And we can also be tapping into it within ourselves. Like, you know, this is what I want, that dependability to move me forward. It moves us to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is divine wisdom reverse. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. And here it's kind of like, no, I got this figured out. Or it's like, no, I'm supposed to have this figured out. And so the divine wisdom that's coming in, we're not listening to because it can go against what we think it should be. Or it's just like, it just seems a little bit out there. It's like, why would I be doing that? Or why? Like, why? And spirit's saying, trust me. So here we have a bit of a blockage with that trust and with that power moving us forward. So just be mindful about that. How we can really handle that blockage is to visualize ourselves connected with the universe with this beautiful golden like rod of light coming through us and connecting us like through the earth into the solar system and you know being hooked up to a star type of thing. That's how I like to see it. And it's just a beautiful thing or all the stars energies coming in, whether it's from our sun, whether it's from the stars further away, you know, having that that light, that power come through, or even that remembrance, because remember the, the stars that we see in our sky have long since gone on to bigger and better things, I guess you could say, than, you know, burning in whatever solar system they're in. So it moves us then to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. This is a, this is the eight of wands. It's wanting things to move really, really fast. And we kind of have this proclivity during this time to be like, okay, let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. And that's not really going to work for us the way that we want it to. It's not going to give us the results that we want, but we can get really, really focused on things have to happen quickly. You know, it has to be going at this pace. It has to be going after this. And spirit is saying here, slow it down. It's going to be important. It's going to be important for our prosperity and our su success. And it's just going to be important for where we want to be in the long run. But we really can be caught up, especially if we have, you know, a very tyrannical energy that's like, no, faster, faster, faster. And it doesn't matter when you burn out, you know, they'll just replace and get a new person type of deal. So just be really mindful about that, especially if you're in that. I, I see it as a financial situation when you're in that financial situation or when you're in that situation at work, 
when it's like, okay, there's an, always another person like in the wings. It's like, no, I'm not doing this. So just be aware of this. And we can say it to ourselves. And it's like, no, I need to find a new job or no, I need to be transferred to a different department or, you know, no, I need to, however, we're going to solve this problem. We need to solve this problem because we're not dispensable. We're very important. We're the main characters of our story, even if we're not the main characters of theirs. With the three of swords, there is a heartbreak that comes up during this time. And we are going to see ourselves rising out of like overthinking things, overanalyzing. Also, there's a sense of overkill. We can either find ourselves rising out of over the game being stuck in our own heads, or we can find ourselves just falling into that trap. So do be mindful about this. But the 10 of swords is the minor arcana death card for me. And it's the dying away of the old self, the rebirth of the new. We are transforming ourselves in a way that we hadn't thought was possible, but in a way that brings us strength and brings us power because we have all those swords in us, which is you know, a stinking fortune, right? If you think about long ago days, you wouldn't just leave 10 swords stuck in a person. I mean, here, this is in the water, but here you also have a, which I just noticed, which is fantastic, a siren mermaid per person. And I don't know why I was like, oh, here, there's a person right next to them. And I didn't even realize that like cognitively. So here, just be aware that there's something helping you. Spirit is helping you. A connection is helping you from your heart, from what you love to rise you out of doubt and overthinking, overanalyzing, really being harsh on yourselves. With the three of swords, there's heartbreak and pain that we're going to be looking at here, Leo. But there are things that happen in our lives that forged us, that shaped us. But as we're looking at them, it's like, but I'm not defined by this anymore. You don't get to have power over me. I have power over me. And as we move in that direction, we become the student of what we love. You know, this is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So if we're born on the cusp with Cancer. If we have water sign energy in our chart, there's a lot of learning that's going on here. And a lot of, you know, questions of, can I follow my heart? Can I trust what I love? Do I know what I love? Do I know how I want to move forward in what is beautiful and sacred and powerful for me? And it's also getting back into contact because we have the page of wands here, which is also ourselves coming forward, right? We have our heart coming forward and we have ourselves coming forward, but in page form. So in child form, in learning form. And what we're going to see here is that this is a time where we're learning a lot, where we're learning how to step into our hearts, where we're learning how to look at what we're passionate about, where we're learning about what we want for ourselves. And it brings us to this place of saying, but this is me. And we're really getting out of the chaos, the fights, the hurts, the pains, the, the nonsense of others, the tyranny of others, and focusing on our world. And as we do so, we start focusing on our voice that we have had since we were little. And it brings us to love. It brings us to happiness. It brings us to passion and fire, which is amplified because we are ruled by the sun. So that is even better. It makes the happiest card in the whole entire deck just a little bit happier for us, but also a bit more intense. So we can really be feeling like, oh, wow, things are supposed to be on a really high up moral upswing, right? And if they're not exactly the way that we have envisioned them, we'll just think, oh, it's terrible. It's rotten. I can't possibly do it. Don't do that to yourself. We have a tendency to go to extremes during this time, call them out, ground yourself, stabilize yourself. You'll sit there and say at times, Leo is like, oh my gosh, the energy is just so like wackadoodle. It's so intense. It's I, I'm too intense. And a person around you is going to be like, yeah, you are. <laughs> And it's not going to be a welcomed statement. It's like, thank you. Thank you so much. But now I step into me. We are going to forego sleep. We're going to go, we're going to forego rest. We're going to forego honoring our own story. We're going to think push, 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 you know, type of energy. I'll sleep when I'm, you know, not alive, right? Kind, kind of deal. And that's not going to help us. That's not going to have us performing at our best. So just be mindful about this during this time because we just have to be aware of this to slow things down, to take care of ourselves, honoring our story, making sure we sleep, making sure that we, we harmonize within our own energy. And it moves us then to our subconscious spirit message, which here it is perception reversed. Okay. So the way that we're perceiving things or the way that somebody that we're dealing with is perceiving things is very different from our own perception. And as spirit keeps on telling me, we are just story and perception. That's the only thing we are as human beings. So perceive your story kindly and wisely. And, you know, hopefully others will do the same. So here the perceptions are off. 
And what we're going to have to do, which we can feel really awkward about or feel really silly with or think, oh my gosh, this is just nonsense, is to say, okay, what are you seeing here? Like, what do you get from this situation? Like, what are you seeing here? Because I'm not seeing the same thing. This is what I'm seeing. And we can say that to somebody, right? But it might be difficult if this is a work thing or, you know, something like that. But like, yeah, just ask them and, and be really kind and genuine about it because we want that person to respond in the same way. If they don't, that's on them. Like you don't have to try again with this person at all. But it's like, okay, how do you see this? And just say it like that. How do you see this? Because if we have a hard time agreeing on what is red and what is orange, right? <laughs> like what reds have more orange in them, what reds don't have more orange in them, you know, that type of thing. If our eyes, the cones and the rods in our eyes perceive colors differently, what makes us think that our brains and our emotions that were raised in completely different situations and grew up with completely different cultural, like, you know, norms, even if we, we are from the same culture, right? Because we're all from different families and, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's going to make things different. So just saying, how do you see this? That's going to be really important here. It moves us to our, our, yeah, our chakra energy. And this is visualization. This is the third eye chakra reverse. So we're having a bit of a blockage in visualization in the energy of, I see what I want and I'm manifesting. Visualization equates to manifestation. So here it is like, what are you visualizing? And what are we afraid to visualize, Leo? That is going to be an important thing. It's like, what am I afraid to visualize that is holding me back? Tapping over the third eye, doing it right now. Why? Because it feels so good. Tapping over the third eye can calm you, can center you, but also helps open the blockage that we have over our third eye to be able to say to ourselves, okay, what do I want? What have I been visualizing? Have we been kind of in a bit of a spiral? And visualizing bad things have we been surrounding ourselves with negative media consumption whether that be true crime whether that be you know just people ranting and and being really negative kind of eeyore like energy some people can be really nice like eeyore is super nice and winning the poo right but man is he a downer so just be mindful about that during this time it moves us then to our energy to be mindful of and again it's reiterating the warning of the four of swords it's like don't push so hard during this time and make sure you rest and make sure you honor your story because we're sitting there and saying, oh, it should have been this. It should have been that, right? I could have done it perfectly. Yeah. If only I had hindsight, but hindsight is 2020. So embrace you, embrace how you're moving forward, but make sure you rest. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot message, which is the queen of wands. And I love this is going right over the world card and then right next to the page. So we are embracing our inner child self, but we are also embracing the magic, the fire, the passion, and the exuberance that is us. We're getting excited about things subconsciously. There's a part of us that is awakening that is like, wow, I can do this. Like, wow, I got this. Wow. This is a beautiful thing. Okay. All right. And also that's really strong. It's like, I, I got this. I've, I've come so far. I can do so much. And that magic, that beautiful spark that is Leo energy, that creativity, that, that connectivity that defines a Leo is just coming forward with such beauty and such passion. Okay. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and have a blessed week. Bye, guys.